today I'm going to go through this uh, example in tag to show you a few different ways you can use Project Sync. Okay, so basically what we have here is a pre-comp with just the type laid out. And what we'd like to do is save this out for another user to animate. Uh, and we also have another project that has our green screen footage in it. So we can import that now. Okay, and we will just put that right here. Okay, and real quick. Okay, now uh, let's just place this real quick. It doesn't matter where. Um, now we have uh, an imported project with our green screen footage and a pre comp that has all of our text that we want animated. So, what we want to do with sync is link these files. So, what we'll do is uh, select the green screen guy AEP file that we just imported. It creates a folder over here in the project window. Uh, we just select that over here and then go over here in the project sync panel and click link project. And then you select the AEP file. Click open and now it's linked over here. This is your link project list box. It, it shows all files that are currently linked. So now what we need to do is export this text and link it so another user can update it. To do that, it's really easy. If you had a bunch of type over here and it wasn't already in a composition, you would just pre-compose it. And then you go over here in your project window and you select the business text, which is our text composition. Okay, and with that selected in the project window, you come over here to the project sync panel and click share comp. Uh, first thing it'll do is save the current composition and then it'll give you the option to change the name of the project that it's about to save. Uh, by default, it will be the name of the comp, so we'll just leave it as that. Uh, the file is saved in the same location as your root folder, uh, just with a different file name. So if everything went correctly, then uh, you'll see over here in your link projects folder, the new file that was created. And uh, all references to that composition are now pointed to this new file it created. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Now both of our projects are linked, and all we have to do at this point is worry about our own tasks while the other users are animating the type or keying out this guy. And once their projects are finished, all we have to do is click check for updates, and uh, if a new version of the AEP file is located or an increment of that is available, then we will be notified, and all we'll have to do is click accept, and it'll take care of everything for us. Okay, let's click check for updates and see if there's any new file available. Okay, looks like business text has been updated, so let's click yes. Okay, looks like it brought in uh, a new project with uh, animated type. That looks good. Okay, let's go ahead and check for updates again and see if our green screen guy has been updated. Okay, it looks like the user has uh, saved an increment version of the original project. So let's just update now and see what happens. Click yes. Okay, great. That looks like everything worked correctly. And if you look over here at the link projects list box, you'll see that our green screen guy item has been updated to the newest file. And that's it.